Consider a childhood filled with new cities to explore, new languages to learn, and a new culture to immerse in. That is the extraordinary life of an expat kid. In a previous video, we talked about the challenges related to being an expat kid. And in this video, we'll be discovering the empowering side of growing up as an expat kid, or roughly speaking, third culture kid, prototype citizens of future, cross-cultural chameleons, and globally mobile children. It is often believed that expat kids lack a sense of belonging, but there are studies that suggest that expat children can actually profit from the rich experiences associated with a mobile lifestyle. When they become adults, for example, they often prefer living outside of their home countries. They report that they are quite comfortable with new situations, new cultures, new people, and that they are quite good at navigating these new social situations. And how can we help them feel more belong? Well, in transition periods, making friends, uh, getting familiar with the physical aspects of the new countries, such as schools, farms, uh, local shops, they all contribute to a sense of belongingness. And based on research, we know that the longer they live in the host country, uh, the stronger their sense of belonging gets. If you ask children, many of them report their birth or passport country as, as their first home country. Uh, some of them identify two or three countries as their home countries. In a previous video, that's what I had said. This is especially uh, tough for adolescents. They wonder if they are going to be able to make friends. They wonder if they are going to fit in. So this is uh, quite challenging for adolescents. And that's true. But it's also true that some teens, especially those who are open to experience and uh, competent socially, have a potential to thrive after transition periods. We see that they form friendships uh, quite swiftly and uh, they make a lot of friendships in transition periods. With whom, when asked, they report that uh, they feel the most comfortable when they are together with those who have similar cross-cultural lifestyle and experiences as them. According to research, expat kids have significantly higher scores on social sensitivity compared to their local peers. Uh, this means that they are very well at reading social situations, social cues and uh, other people's uh, different aspects such as their uh, behaviors, feelings, personality and cognitions. They also have more tolerant views toward other cultures than their peers at the host and home country. They value diversity, they are very good observants, and they have an expanded worldview. As adults, uh, they choose to work and live outside of their native country. Research shows that their identities are based on their goals and aspirations rather than their backgrounds. They report feeling comfortable in a range of environments. Relative to their local peers, they are more interested in learning languages, traveling and seeking a future abroad. Of course, all these characteristics make them a very good candidate for international companies. And it's not surprising to see that uh, they usually work in international companies. As you see, there are plenty of positive sides uh, growing up as an expat child, but it is also important to acknowledge uh, the hurdles that comes with it. If you are an expat child yourself, or if you have an expat child, please feel free to share your experiences, comments and questions in the comments below. If you or your loved ones are feeling overwhelmed, don't hesitate to seek for professional help. Remember, your mental health matters wherever you are in the world.